Hi everyone, this is Triple Vowel of Metro Camel. Welcome to the video today and thanks for joining me. Uh, nice to have you with me wherever you are around the world. I thought I'd do a product review today. I haven't done one for a while. And this one is definitely model railway related. And it's something that uh, all of us who are into the hobby are going to need uh, sooner or later. If you haven't got one, you are going to need one. It's a solder nine. And before I show you the product itself, I'm going to give you the reasons why I chose this particular solder nine and why I chose to get a solder iron. Um, the firstly, the, there's many various brands of soldering iron out there on the market as you probably found out by going online or maybe visiting your local um, electronics shop. You can see there's quite a lot of ranges of products out there to buy and to, uh, to grab your attention. Well somebody last year, I'm not going to say no names, but for Christmas last year somebody bought me out of Klaus Olsen a soldering iron set. Uh, in the set you've got a soldering iron and some solder wire, a solder sucker, and a solder nine stand. And the whole thing was cheap and nasty. And I didn't say anything to the person at the time. Obviously I was grateful because I didn't have any cash on me. I didn't have a solder nine, I needed one. And I thought it would be, um, it would be okay. Oh dear. <laughs> when I plugged the thing in, it lasted about 10 minutes before um, it overheated and stopped working. Um, very cheap and nasty and actually could have been quite dangerous because it could have actually overheated and uh, caused some serious damage but the thing actually stopped working after 10 minutes the, the actual tip on the end disintegrated I was quite uh, surprised it did that it wouldn't accept any flux or solder this, despite me cleaning the tip and doing what you're supposed to be doing with it anyway make a long story short the whole thing went in the bin on Christmas Day I just was not happy with it and it proves that if you're going to spend some money on a soldering iron it's best to save up and get something decent that's going to last you for a very 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 long time so uh, recently I invested in one of these it's by a company called Antex who are very reputable and they do a lot of good stuff on their uh, production side and their solder iron equipment is rated quite high you know, on the market so again doing a little bit of sourcing and reviewing I chose to buy one, buy one of these anyways so this is the Antex 25 watt soldering iron. It's 25 watts, which is more than ample for what we're going to be using it for in terms of model railway purposes. And before I show you what's inside the box, there's two things about this box that you should remember. Number one, don't throw this box away. And the reason is, when your iron is actually cooled down, you finish using it, it's nice and cold, you can put it back in the box and look after it and keep it safe. And number two, on the side of the box, You've got a little table here that oops, shows you all the different various tips you can get for the iron according to what you're going to need it for. So if you're going to be ordering uh, new tips, you've got a reference guide on the side of the box. And also, on the other side of the box, you've got some contact details. You've got the name of the company, the address, telephone number and also a website as well so that's the other reason why don't throw this box away it's, it comes in handy and also you can store your iron in it when you when it's nice and cold and finish using it so keep the box don't throw the box away <laughs> so more importantly inside the box um, here is the iron it's really really nice one of the things I was very surprised about this iron when I took it out of the box is exactly how light this thing is. It really is light. And because it's got two little indentations, one there and one there, it makes it nice to hold and to grip. It's very comfortable to use, very lightweight. And this whole handle does not get hot. So there's no fear or danger of, of you getting burnt or this overheating. It, it does not get hot at all. It's nice and cold to hold. And you've also got heat proof cable which is flexible at one end so there's you can bend that cable as much as you like and there'll be no damage whatsoever it's designed to move the cable's heat proof and the whole iron is nice and nice and sturdy it's nice and nice and well made and the great thing about this iron I've mentioned as well it's worth getting this iron because you can take the bits off carefully just unscrew it there's no thread involved but you just unscrew it in a mechanism motion like this just unscrew it comes off there's no thread as mentioned it's just a smooth finish 
that's the way you remove it, it's just between the thumb and four fingers, just twist it and it comes off. Um, this is your actual element, you actually get this bit gets hot and that transfers the heat to that which does your soldering. Now as you can see there, my tip, I'll just bring this up to the camera a little bit better for you guys at home, but as you can see there, my tip that comes with the iron, standard tip, is quite small. And you can get larger tips for this. I've already got one, which I'll show you very shortly. But on the whole, this tip is very good. I mean, it will do exactly what you ask of it in terms of soldering. And certainly model railway-wise, if you're joining wise to the side of the rails, or you're doing small little jobs, this will more than amply do the job. Put it back on there like that. So what they do suggest is you get this stuff called silicon paste it's a white coloured paste that you can put on the shaft of the element and when you pop the tip back on it's supposed to help conduct the heat much more better and make the iron more efficient uh, me personally from using this over the last couple of days I've found that's not necessary because this iron gets very 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 hot and which is exactly what you want you know the hotter the iron the better you're going to get your solder to flow so I found that using silicon paste doesn't really matter but you can use it if you wish to that's what you do um, on that um, on the whole it's a nice iron like I said it's really well made nice and strong nice and sturdy everything's nice on it and it comes with a fitted plug which is obviously helpful most irons do these days to be honest with you whether you buy like a Weller or a Draper or whatever manufactured iron you choose to buy they all come with plugs however the only downside of this iron is that the length of flex between the end of the iron to the plug um, is not that great it could be a lot longer for my liking so if you're going to use it and you find that you haven't got enough room to hold it comfortably and it's pulling on the cable a bit use a good extension cable to plug this into specifically if you're going to be underneath the baseboard doing some soldering you're going to need to use an extension uh, cable to plug this in um, or if you're soldering at a table or a workbench and you've got a, a plug next to the where you're soldering basically you should be okay but on the whole if you're going to be doing over at a greater distance safely use an extension cable um, don't be tempted to cut this wire in half and add some more wire to it don't do that sort of thing because it's dangerous so we're going to be using an extension cable on the end of this plug if you need to go a greater distance so with the iron inside the box came one of these and it's a little fold up uh, stand that you just bend up and fold and you've got a simple soldering iron stand to rest your iron on however it's not really suitable because it doesn't really hold the iron that well and you also you're going to find you'll not only need a stand but with soldering you'll need a sponge a damp sponge and the sponge is very important because you need to clean the tip of your iron every time you solder so once you do a solder joint clean the tip of your iron on a damp sponge apply fresh solder wipe it quickly on the sponge again and that is then tinned it's ready to go so you need a decent stand and a sponge so I went out and I thought well the way I look at it guys I'm not sure if you agree with this at home but if you go out and you buy a new suit or ladies out there watching this video if you buy a new go and buy a new outfit or dress you know you need new, new shoes to go with the outfit to match up with everything else so I thought well I'm going to need a decent stand to go with the iron so again I went onto the Antex website and, if, and with the power of the internet <laughs> I got one of these and I'd rate this stand 10 out of 10 because it's nice and not over heavy but it's, it's weighty to a certain extent it's solid it's heat proof and it's also got this nice little tray in the bottom here um, with the sponge included just wet the sponge very slightly and it puffs up and as long as that sponge is kept nice and moist it's great to put your solder iron in the bottom there you can clean it out and keep the tip nice and clean but what I liked about the stand and the reason I chose this stand was two things number one underneath you've got space to put four little cushioned um, self-adhesive pads that you get included with this so you put one two three four and that way when you put it on a tabletop it stops it from sliding about which gives it extra um, stability and the main reason I chose it was because of the design of the holder now 
on some of the solder line holders you can get out there on the market you've got a simple base and like a, a spring that comes out of it and you put the solder line in there I had one of those originally but I didn't like it because it wobbled about too much and I was frightened it would come loose and it would hit me on the hand or it drop on the floor whilst it was still on which would not be a good thing so the great thing about this stand is it's designed specifically for this model the XS uh, model XS25 which you can see is the blur the model there and you've got these three notches one two three there and the idea is pop it in there and there it sits and that will sit in there all day whilst you're waiting for it to cool down or using it for the next job and the way it's held in there is it corresponds to the top of the soldering line there so it snugly fits in that area and also inside there you've got a v-shaped clip that holds the tip of the iron thus so like that so it keeps it in there whilst it's on the table nice and flat that won't move and like I said when you're waiting for the iron to cool down after you finish using it and you've retinned it and you've unplugged it and you're waiting for it to cool down before you put it away you can leave it in there whilst it cools down and then you can just take it out and put it away so again a great addition to some tools and accessories that you're going to use for the model railway hobby and I would strongly suggest that you can buy one of these irons and, and have a go yourself I think personally it's a great addition to uh, soldering projects you're going to be using on the layout and like I said if you're going to be using a lot of soldering in what you're doing you need to have the right tools for the, uh, the right job so I definitely recommend one of these irons having used it over the last couple of days I would say 10 out of 10 for use it's very easy to use plug it in wait for it to heat up to the right temperature and away you go it really is nice to use and I, I couldn't um, rate this iron any more better um, definitely is good I decided to buy some accessories to go with this as well I bought a larger tip which is a 52 uh, bit which has got a larger tip on the end as you can see it's much more bigger for larger projects so I got one of those just in case I'm going to need that as a spare and also bought some some more sponges for the the cleaning tray there so there we go and someone's at my front door okay apologies for that folks that was the postman at my front door <laughs> sorry about that um, anyway that's as mentioned before that's the solder nine that I actually purchased recently on Amazon and like I said you, we're gonna need a solder nine for the projects that we do on a model railway so I would say definitely get one of these irons um, don't have to buy this stand you can buy any stand of your choice whatever works for you but me personally I feel this is much more safer because the iron is not going to come loose and it's going to burn you or fall on the floor or, you know so it's nice and stable in there which is where you want and you keep it out of the way whilst it's hot so that's about it anyway what I was going to say to you is before I finish this video as a little sideline um, I need your help guys and girls in terms of what you'd like to see in the future um, on my channel um, in terms of model railways um, what I'm asking you is, is this I've said it before and I'll say it again I can only do some videos uh, based upon what you'd like to see running on the layout so give me some ideas basically I, I need some feedback from you guys and girls out there I need for you to tell me what you'd like to see running on the layout you might like to see a freight train engineers train, passenger train diesel hauled, steam hauled tender engine, tank engine um, express train a uh, special works train, you name it, if I've got it on the layout and I've got it underneath the layouts um, and able to run it I will do so so there you go that's my challenge to you send me a message or just send me a request about a video that you like to see done on the layout in terms of running and I'll do my best to get that done for you like I said I've been so busy lately what with work and uh, being a busy dad my daughter is now two years old and she that, that thing they say about the terrible twos trust me it's too <laughs> It's true. Um, she's running me ragged. <laughs> so I don't have time that much these days to uh, do any videos. But I will definitely do a video um, of your request. Um, I do get time now and again, which is very rare. So do let me know what you like to see on the layout for future updates, and I'll get around to doing it. Anyways, that's enough about that. Hope you enjoyed the little product review today, and I hope it's been helpful, mainly, to give you some pointers in the right direction in choosing a solder 9 uh, for your layout. 
and I'll see you soon. Take care, have a great day. God bless, bye-bye.